Let's talk about the Ebbinghaus effect. How was school today? Did you learn a new formula in math? Did you start a new unit in history? Maybe you conjugated a new verb in French class. Yep, you learned a lot today. Or did you? What if I told you that over the course of this week, you'll forget 75% of all the things you heard in class today and every day? Do you think you'll pass a test if you only know 25% of the content? Back in 1885, Dr. Herman Ebbinghaus, a psychologist, tested his own powers of memorization by creating a bunch of nonsense words and then testing to see how many he could remember over the set period of time. After just 20 minutes, he'd already forgotten nearly half the words. By the next day, he only remembered a third of them, and a week later, he could only remember 25% of those new words. We call this the forgetting curve. So when a teacher tells you something new that you don't understand, it might just as well be gibberish and nonsense that you are three times as likely to forget. Remember, for actual learning to take place, the new information must be familiar and it must make sense, and then your brain will pay attention. Because inside your head, the neurons with the new information are seeking out neurons that contain stuff that you know already. Like what's in your notes from yesterday, the reading you did last night, and the discussions you had in class today. So to avoid the Ebbinghaus effect, you need to ask questions when you don't understand, actively take notes, and study those notes tonight, and you'll turn that 25% into 100%.